Hey guys, Sinister Dan here, co-founder of Atomic TV, bringing you a playthrough of Space Marine, the 40k game. One of many, I suppose. Anyway, let's get into it. This is going to be a playthrough of the campaign on normal, and I'm not going to try and complete it 100%. I'm just going to try and I'm just going to be going, going through the campaign as uh, you know casually, basically, while uh, talking. I'm I'm talking, uh, I'm commentating while playing it, I am, so that all reactions and scenarios and whatever, uh, they'll be pretty much authentic. Um, uh, I don't think anyone really wants to go through the cinematics, everyone has seen them probably by now, so let's just get to the gameplay, is it? Gameplay, pl gameplay please. Oops. There we go. Yes. Combat knife away. Right, I gotta try and remember the controls here now because it's been a it's been a month a month or two since I've played this. Come on, die! I'm actually surprised because you, know, you know in the in the board game or the tabletop game you never think of the grots as being any kind of threat at all, but on you they've actually made them. They do look pretty um, intimidating. I mean, c compare them in. Compare them to uh, a regular hum sized human, or what you think a regular sized human, because keep in mind, a space marine, you know, when in fully clad in armor, he's round about two, he's over two meters tall, you know, and, you know, these grots, they're not exactly tiny, are they? They're, they're round about, uh, I'd say they're round about five foot, like, at least. Yes, I wouldn't want to, I really, I really wouldn't want to take on one of those guys. Oh, oh crap, there's a guy there. Yeah, I'm a very crap shot in this game. <laughs> oh, too close. Right, I don't know how good the quality will be on the recording, because I'm, I'm using fraps, which... Ooh. Hard day's work. <laughs> yeah, I'm recording fraps, and I don't really know what it'll record in, so... But uh, we shall see. Take this, orcs! Yeah, I'm actually very surprised that orcs actually... Uh, their blood is red, because... Um, I don't think it was that long ago that I actually found out that orcs aren't actually uh, biological in the same sense as humans are. You know, apparently they're a type of fungus, which I never knew. And apparently when they die, they, uh, their bodies release spores, which produces more, I think. I think I heard that, anyway, I don't know. Oh. oh I, I don't care who you are, that guy is just cool. Get off my ship, Space Marine! Woo! Ooh, there's a fire. <laughs> yeah, that guy is cool. I mean, I often wonder, though, how in the hell can he, you know, do anything what, you know, anything every day like that? Right, you know, with all that stuff on him. I mean, he can't scratch his chin because it's metal. I mean, because I'm assuming he does have a lower jaw inside that metal shield thingy. But, you know, how could he scratch it, you know? Right, uh, where's the thing that blows us up? Um, is that it? Nope. Ah, there it is. Come on, reload. Yeah, the reload times on this game are kind of annoying. Die! Oh yeah, back to what I was saying. Anyway, yeah, apparently they're a type of fungus. You know, who knew? Well, I didn't. You guys probably knew that, and I didn't, so, you know. It's most mostly, mostly just a really newbie part on um, newbie thing on my part. Spice Marine. Come on. And rotation. You'd think the guy inside that, you know, fire in the gun would would have stopped, wouldn't it? I mean. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing I never realised about orcs as well is apparently they are the only ones who can use their vehicles, you know, and it's not its not a sense, it's not one of those things where, like, uh, uh, the, so they are the only ones who know their own technology. It's literally a case of, if something doesn't work, they just will it to work, and for some reason it does. I mean, <laughs> that's just insane. It's cool, though, it's a cool idea. So they, they touch, they touch, uh, like, a. Uh, 
just a piece of metal, you know, like a tube or something, like a piece of pipe, and they just will it to be a lightsaber. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, cinematics. Come on, skip, skip. Ugh, I've had a hard day. <laughs> the ships tend to do what they like. Oh yes, I am gorgeous. <laughs> Laurie Alpha Men. <laughs> oh my god. Couldn't resist. Oh, this is that's another thing I hate as well, is that now and again No, I think yeah, I think it's every time one of these chat things comes up, you know, where they talk, you can't run. See right now I'm desperately trying to run oh there we go. See so, now I'm running, but every time that comes out, it slows you down, and it really irritates me, that is. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, and it takes you ages to stop running. <laughs> it's like your own momentum carries you everywhere. Go on, die! Get, get the gremlins before they eat. No, was it, um... Don't feed them after... No, don't feed them after midnight. Turns them into grammars. Don't let them get a water. They'll multiply. Oh, I love the Gremlins movies. Oh, yeah. Bolter action. And this is the only part of the game where a bolt is any use against orcs. Come on. Yeah, is there... Ah, there. Now I can look down the sights. Yeah. Because I couldn't with a pistol. God, I really hope the batteries in my mic and sound capture thingy. I really hope they last out long enough for me to complete this uh, level. But well, no, I, is it? I can't remember now if Space Marine is actually split up into levels or not. I don't know. We'll see. I got I got my phone in front of me so I can see how long I've been talking for. I think I've been talking about around about five minutes, maybe. Come on. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'd, I'd really love it if I could make Huron does like I do this. For those of you who don't, who don't know, uh, I have a, a, a stop motion show based around the Warhammer 40k game. And uh, I really, you know, think of stop mo doing stop motion with uh, Warhammer models is really, you know, although some people say, you know, it is, it's awesome what I do. You know, I do get uh, a few comments now and again on compliment, compliments and whatnot. But uh, no, the. It is very limiting, you know. Despite, I mean, I I do, I have to, you know, enrich mine with VFX and all that, and like um, cinema and uh, cinema style stuff and three D modeling, and just to make it, just to make them slightly different to everyone else's. But it is really difficult to get stuff like uh, emotion, and uh, it's really difficult whenever you have something like where it's the it's meant to be a spoken thing where. The butt of the joke or whatever is key. Is key to understanding you the, the facial expression of the person giving it, giving the thing and whatnot. It's it's really difficult to pull off, but uh, that's why I really I really wish I could make uh, 3D models of uh, uh, Warhammer characters to this to this uh, degree. But uh, no, if you if you look on YouTube, there's no tutorials on it at all. I mean, literally the only tutorials for making 3D models on. Um, of uh, Warham Warhammer based 3D models on YouTube is one for a Hellfire Cannon, I think it's called. Yeah, Space Marine Hellfire Cannon. And I think there's one for an Orc truck, but that's about it. There's plenty of people who put up uh, examples of ones that they've made themselves, but uh, yeah, I'm going to skip that. Uh, but none of them show you actually how to make them yourself, you know. Yes! Tell them that they just explode when you rub, when you shoulder barge them. But then then again, you know, the shoulder plates are like huge. So, uh, right now, what to talk about to keep you guys interested so you don't leave me all alone to play this horrible game? Nah, it's not. It's not a horrible game. Sidonus, the brave. Well. 
they are all over the planet at the moment, by the looks of it. Don't run away from me! Oh, I'm gonna go to Nathan. Don't you run away from me! Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, this thing is something to talk about now. Um, um, oh yeah, let's, let's talk about Atomic TV, shall we? Yeah, because um, it's it is a new, it's a brand new uh, type of uh, attempt at net networking site and whatnot. Yeah, I really got stuff to say, and I've noticed a lot of people told me I say what not, I say and what not way too often. I it's just a habit. It's the way I talk and what not. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, we're pretty much just gonna try it at the moment. This uh, I think there's only three of us on you. Um, uh, we're all co-founders. It's me, uh, Mr. Kevlar One, and Max Craft Three Sixty. I think. Uh, sorry, yeah, it's Maxine. Sorry if I'm getting your channel name wrong. <laughs> I apologise. But um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just trying to get started, you know, because we ha we haven't really had a lot of success with uh, our most recent uh, network that we joined. I'm not. I'm not gonna name names, but um, yeah, it it just wasn't really. It just didn't turn out well, really, and it wasn't for us. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna try and make our own. Why not? You know, everyone else does. Jump on the bandwagon. Wow, your helmet's on tight. There's like no room for yours or anything. <laughs> Shot yawning. There. Oh, here we go. See, I was gonna have an epic running moment then. What's wrong with you? I think he's going mad. Quite possibly. Anyway. Oh, I just realised. I don't know if the sound is actually gonna play this because at the moment, um, I've got the sound playing through my through a, a pair of headphones, so I don't know if Fraps will pick it up. I'm hoping they'll just pick it up straight from the game, but uh, ooh, if it doesn't, I'm sorry. If you've only got me to listen to, uh, oh, another weapon. I think is it? Yeah. Oh. Yes, it's Anthony Hopkins. I don't care. Come on. I know Anthony Hopkins is awesome, but still. I want a chainsword! Hey, where's it gone? Ah, there it is. Chainsword unlocked. Yeah! Can you imagine Space Marine Rugby? <laughs> Space Marine American football. Oh, American American football. Space Marine style. With every uh, with every tackle, someone dies. <laughs> See, now I would actually watch that. So I do not watch sports to, uh, myself. I used to watch uh, extreme sports, so the extreme sports channel. You know, with like a uh, skateboarding, rollerblading, but. Uh, no, they they never show rollerblading anymore, really. So it's all about BMXing and and uh, winter sports, really. And no, I don't know. It's just I I'm not really into BMXing or the mo motocross or stuff like that. Anyway, back on topic. Space Marine. Sp Space Marine. There are meteors hitting the Earth. Yeah, yeah. My the I got it. The look sensitivity on this is weird. You know, cause it, it's one of those things where it speeds up as it. Oh, not another cutscene. Oh yeah, squigs are awesome. Yeah, it's one of those one of the things where it speeds up the longer you hold uh, the the one of your, one of the control sticks in a certain direction. And I don't know that kind of irritates me. It's like you know, it's like whoa, fast, fast, slow, slow, fast. In whoop. Squig off. Squiz goth, squig off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I may need to reload. Um, which one? Oh, let's reload, right? Yeah, if, if it, just in case you're wondering, I'm using, the con I'm using an Xbox controller. Uh, I don't really like using uh, 
for shooters, I don't really like using the uh, mouse. It's just me. You know, and, I'll, and also, I also I always tend to run out of uh, room on on my mouse mat whenever I play shooters because you know it's like you want you want to go across and then you want to go across again and then, oh no obstruction. Oh, there's a guy there. Yeah, and I'm not really good at this gameplay, am I? Well, to be fair, I am trying to talk and I'm I am trying to make in interesting conversation with more or less myself at the moment. So, while playing, so. Can you really blame me? Oh, I have grenades now. Where's more? I want more. There. Take that, green skin. For well, I am a space marine. I am a space marine. I wonder if all space means are British. Strange. Are they... You know, is that just a, a strange quint... Is it just a coincidence, or you know that because uh, hang on, I need to select that? Is it is this a coincidence because uh, you know GW is based in Britain or originated in Britain, or do you think it's just that you know, the Space Marine Army is actually that is actually that racist? You know, I know that I know they're racist anyway. You know, they're, they're like the ultimate racists and bigots. You know, they it's like you will join our religion, religion, or I don't. I sound like Sylvester Stallone. You will join our religion or die. Oh no, it's a dropship. Now here's the question: Will they actually land it, or will they crash land it like they normally do? Watch out, people! Oh no, they're actually landing properly. Hang on, this should be. Is it? Yeah, it's ammo. You? Yeah. Why did Why? Why? Why didn't they pick that up earlier? Really I am going to die. Oh, I remember this bit, I think. Yep. It's an orc knob! <laughs> yeah, I always found that name very strange, you know, why they call them orc knobs, you know, but as it turns out, knob is short for noble. Apparently, this guy is a noble. He's noble born! Shoot him in the face! Shoot him in the face! Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Space Marine. Yes, I am a Space Marine. Who wants to kiss me? Who wants to touch me? <laughs> you may kiss my boot. Now open the door. Oh, another scene where I can't run. Do 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 do. <laughs> what are you guys sitting down the job? Get fighting! Uh oh, what's oh, loading? I think that. Oh, there we go. Right, I'm wondering how. I'm wondering if this might be a good time now to stop the recording, and maybe wait for the next episode or something. Um, how come that guy has better, has, has cooler armor than me? And does she have a scar on her nose, or is that shading? Hmm. No, no, it's just shading. Yeah. Oh my God, it's a woman. A woman in charge. I wonder if you've never, see, you, you never see female space marines. I wonder why. I wonder, it's probably kind of the same kind of thing as, as you know, you never see female Spartans, and but they I'm referring to the old ones now, not Halo Spartans. Oh yeah, I forgot I haven't, I haven't mentioned yeah. Yeah, the type of games I I, I forgot to mention. Now, um, yeah, other games you can expect to see from me is let's see. Um, I just I just mentioned the ones that are on my shelf that I can see at the moment. Uh, see, maybe Alien vs Predator, but don't hold your breath. Uh, maybe Co maybe the Call of Duty games, but to be honest, I feel like everyone's done those. Uh, Fable 2, Fable 3... Ugh, God, that was the most disappointing game ever. Um, where am I going? Hang on. I've lost all sense of direction. Uh, other games is, uh... Yeah, the entire Halo series I've pretty much got, apart from Halo 4, because I don't even know if it's over here yet. Uh, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. Um, 
Brutal Legend and Sniper Ghost Warrior and Oblivion. Although those all those games I mentioned just now, they're all for the Xbox and I currently don't have a HD PVR or a game capture card or anything like that. But um I will probably do one or two now and again, but uh, for now I'm just gonna stick to the PC games I got, which um I have of course Space Marine, I also have Dawn of War, which I'm not sure I will be doing uh gameplays on that. I might I got I got Dawn of War one and two, and I might do, I don't know. Depends on how many people want that. Uh, I also have uh, World of Warcraft, which I very much doubt I'll be doing gameplays on, because let's face it, it'll never end. Uh, I have Portal 1 and 2, which I might do gameplays on as yet. I might do playthroughs of that. Um, uh, what else? Uh, it's, it's hard to remember. Ah, uh, Team, Team Fortress 2 I got as well. It's hard to remember what games I've actually got when I can't see my desktop. Um, let's see, what else have I got? Uh, Team Fortress, hang on. Team Fortress 2, hate this. Space Marine, wow. Dawn of War. Um, oh yeah, I got Left 4 Dead 2 on uh, on PC, so yeah, I might be able to do that sooner. And it might actually give me a chance to play it on my own, because n normally games like Left 4 Dead and Call of Duty and all that, I don't like playing them on my own. You know, I, I just... And it's not, it's not something I get scared or anything, no, it's, just, it's just one of those things, you know, where it's that type of game where you need other people with you to enjoy it, you know, it's just one of those. Like, uh, with Left Dead, you know, you have to, you got to joke around about it, really, hasn't, I don't know, I mean, it, it's, that's the thing that makes Left Dead good, is that it doesn't take itself seriously, but, um, yeah, so, you can expect, well, those are the games that I can, those are the only games I recall at the moment, so those are the ones you can expect from me. Uh, and, oh yeah, for, for the ones who, um, for my, uh, Personal subscribers, personal subscribers to my own personal channel, uh, since the Dan V zero one. Don't don't worry, I haven't stopped doing stop motion stuff. I will be doing them. The only thing is though, you know, I'm pr I I want to do these as a kind of buffer in between them. I do, and as something to kind of break, you know, break up the whole thing of me constantly trying to work out, you know, what to do for my next video and oh heavy ball, oh heavy heavy ball, hang on. I want to do for my next video because um, I don't know if anyone know, but I absolutely hate. Uh, I I, well, I hate them. I absolutely really badly suffer from writer's block, like constantly. You know, I'll come up with a good idea, you know, a base the, a base thing for an idea, and by the time I've gotten it written down and I'm and I need to write something that's a key part to make the plot work, my mind goes completely blank and it's pretty much left on the table. So. Ooh, achievement, achievement unlocked. Didn't catch what it was though. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna. I haven't stopped doing stop motion stuff or any VFX stuff or anything like that. Um, I just pretty much gonna. These. This is just a way so that when I um, in between uh, sort of videos like Huron does and all that, you will have at least then you'll have something to watch while you're waiting for the next one. That's pretty much all this is. I'm gonna rip, rip the turret off. Come on. RIP IT OFF! I spent all day mounting that thing and balancing it and you rip it off like it's your own! <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering, that's a that's an old Halo machinima quote that is, um... It's like, uh... Yeah, I, think, I can't remember what it was called, it was, a uh, Halols 2, I think it was called. Yeah, I recommend look it up, it is funny, especially the end of it. Hey, look what I found! No! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, I can't run with a heavy turret. It's too heavy. It weighs me down. Ooh, a new... Hey, hey, no! Oh, my heavy bolt back. Ooh, never mind. I got, I got a sniper rifle. Snipes. That is a big gun. Right, I think I'm gonna wrap up the thing, uh, the playthrough here because I think I'm going on almost 20 minutes now. So, oh god, it's 24 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, I got way over. Yeah, so I'm gonna wrap up the thing, the playthrough by here so far. I'm going to save my game so that I can pick it up right where I left off, and we shall recommence this in the next episode so i hope you liked it please subscribe to atomic tv if you like this content you will see much more from not only me but also kevlar mr kevlar one and Ma 
Maxcraft, right? Sorry, Maxie, they can't remember you. Maxcraft 360, I think it is. And you expect uh, Minecraft videos from her, plenty of COD videos from uh, Kevlar. He's currently doing a pistol. Um, I think it's. A, I can't remember what he called it. Uh, it's a pistol um, based uh, challenge he set himself where he only uses a pistol, a riot shield, and a throwing knife. So, um, yeah, how do I save? Nope. Nope. Uh, did it, I, I, got, I can't remember now. Does it save automatically? <laughs> I hope so. Right, I'm going to take the... Restart. Ah, so it's, I think I've, if I reach the checkpoint... Uh, yeah, I think I've reached the checkpoint anyway. So yeah, that was uh, the first gameplay uh, playthrough of Space Marine. And I shall join you in the next video. Please subscribe. Please like this video. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. There will be more. And uh, also subscribe to my channel as well if you if you if you haven't, and also subscribe to Kevlar and Maxcraft and any of the other contributors. So you know, if you want more content and and don't forget oh and of course don't forget to subscribe to uh, Atomic TV and support us in every way because we are trying to get partnered. And also you, there is openings for if you want to become a director for us as well, so you can actually contribute your own videos. And there are a few. Um, requirements for it but uh, they are kind of lenient in comparison to most other networks so uh, yeah so I'm Sinister Dan and thanks for watching